Hello, everybody! This is Cutter Rucknificent coming at you live from the highlights of YouTube. Welcome to my new hit series, Storming the Castle. That's right, and today I'm playing a PC game called Castle. Never judge a book by its cover, based on the hit ABC series. Or, hit was ABC series until it unfortunately got cancelled uh, this past May. Sad to see it go, unfortunately. It was a very good show. Anyway, I'm coming at you long. And I'll be documenting all the hit gameplay featuring uh, our, your favorite characters from the hit TV show, Castle. As you can see, the cursor right over here, this man right here, is Richard Castle, a famous mystery writer who helped to... Uh, he writes uh, famous mystery novels, and <laughs> believe it or not, you can actually pick some of his uh, his work up in your local Barnes and Noble. I know. I when I first saw the novel, I could not believe it. It was something right out of the TV series. I I can tell you that. And believe it or not, he actually really is a real life person. Honest to God, it maybe not looks just as good as Nathan Fillion over here, but uh, oh, by the way, uh, Nathan Fillion is the actor who played Castle, not the actual guy. <laughs> believe it or not. Anyway, and the person you'll see here on the right is Captain Kate Beckett, his wife and leader of the NYPD precinct. I don't know which number precinct it was, may have seen in the uh, series or something, well, whatever. Anyway, we're just gonna, we're gonna get started here. Let's get started with, uh, with our mystery hunting, shall we? So, uh, as you can see over here, we've got uh, the, the options play, which means you can play the game. Uh, options, well, self-explanatory. Uh, profiles, if you click that, you'll have a list of names. So you can either write, write type out your own name, or you can type out, like, uh, I don't know, like your YouTube username or something. Uh, for me, I just chose my name, Robbie, so it's a clear, plain and simple, short, sweet, and to the point, honestly. And uh, you'll see the credits here. You'll see the credits at the very end. All right, so let's get started now, shall we? Here we are at the crime scene of the Mako Energy Power Plant. Uh, as I've just seen, we are going. We are in the control room to see what's going on, and we've clicked on the map. Thus, we are able to uh, go inside and uh, view everything that's around here. And if you can see from over here, the uh, police. Uh, the police uh, badge over here means uh, means equal represents a task. Sorry about stammering. Uh, task of what needs to be done. We are currently at the nuclear power plant, so we're just gonna click here, click back, and we're gonna inspect this some sort of uh, field generator. So we're searching. The cursor is searching around the room looking for a magnifying glass, which means something that can be present itself as some sort of clue. So we've gone out and clicked the hit button, and you see that circle. We are now clicking the fuses. So, it says, there will there are screws holding these things down, so we're just gonna, ah, here we go, use the electric screwdriver to take out the screws, so we'll just put it right over the designated hole area, and, uh, we break it, and, ah, red sparkle, that means we can take the screws out, so, in the animation shows, the screws will come out, the latches are undone, and we can take the views physically out of the holder, and we can use around physically, so we're going to click the hint again, and oh, there it is, uh, the fuse box, so the control panel with the generator is missing two fuses, oh, and what do you know, looks like we already have two fuses, the only question is, we're trying to figure out which of the fuses, or where do they specifically belong, so let's see, we got, uh, oh, over there, you see the little sparkle, that's where the fuses go, <laughs> now the nodes are active, and now we've got, it. Uh, for those of if you are un not sure of what to do during a puzzle, then click here for to get the basic instructions. So, you basically click up to this end. So the box that says Puzzle Info and click it. He says, if you are unsure, if you are completely stuck, you can use the skip button to advance. However, you must wait for the button to charge before you can actually use it. So, uh, if, you, if you have this mystery solving game at home, feel free to follow along. But I chose to skip it, so forgive me for being lazy, but uh, I just... Get it solved. These, kind of, these brain. This is more of a brain teaser. So if you play some of those in schools or at the school or at home or anywhere else, then you'll know how to solve this puzzle. So, and then by all means, go right ahead. I'm just uh, just showing you the puzzle, what you need to work with. Otherwise, uh, go nuts and uh, go free and solve it on your own. You know, not sound too harsh or anything, but hey, um, I roll. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. All right. Okay. Now we're pushing buttons over here like so, and uh, now we're just. It's a it's pattern. If you, depending on how many times you click the certain areas, the buttons will all either light up blue or whatnot. But um, 
it's really it's very tricky. It's a very brain, it's brain teaser. These things can really drive you nuts if you if you really get too close to it. So that's kind of the reason why I try to either try to stay away from them or try to practice with them. Just with some of these before you move on to the difficult stuff. It's kind of a basic a basic necessity of what you have to do. All right. Okay. So since the thing is refueled, I am just gonna after I get done clicking these. Uh, to reset the pattern, I'm just going to, um, uh, just keep, <laughs> keep, apparently keep clicking more buttons in. Oh, and to press the skip, so that means it'll just take you ahead forward. So, just, now we have to take the hint. Oh, and yes, we have to talk to Lainey. Uh, it says, now that we have figured out, now that we have, won't get electrocuted by our victim, we, let's see what we can find out about him. And we have a copy of Frankenstein. We've read the... And so... I think so we've skipped through all this. Just a little recap of the scene so far. And so, Esposito calls and says, You might want to hurry over to, on over to Myra's apartment. And Captain Beckett says, Why? What's going on? To which he responds, It looks like someone broke into the apartment. No signs of a struggle or evidence, though. But you might want to go over here quickly. I know that's not my dog. And Castle says, the plot thickens. This case just keep, keep, keeps getting better. So now we go over to the murder board. Uh, that's the suspect of what we're going to see in the next scene so far. So that's just what we have, have so far. So we have a book and a wallet of the uh, on the evidence on the evidence section. No suspects of the murder so far, but and uh, now we're just going to click back. And since Lainey has already taken the corpse over to the, mer to the medical examiner, there's nothing more that we can do over here. I mean, you're feel free to well to explore the different areas and uh, look around and everything. We were just in the, uh, the locker room back over that way, so there is, there is something with the footprints. But uh, there's nothing really left to do, so we're just going to click the map. And as you as you may have seen, the uh, police uh, the police badge over on this picture, on the new picture, means that there's an important task. So that's going to have to keep going. And we're just going to click on that and see where we go. Where it leads. All right, what do we have to go on? It says, uh, Ryan says, whoever broke into Miss Myers, into Myers' apartment left in a, left a complete mess. But from what we've seen, nothing has been taken. Thank you. To which Castle has, says, that's odd. So whoever did this just broke in and destroyed the entire apartment? And then uh, Javier Esposito then says, you might want to talk to Mrs. Goodman, Myers' neighbor. She says she saw the guy. Saw the guy. So then we're just going to speak over to uh, Mrs. Myers, which says, Hi, Mrs. Goodman, I'm Detective Beckett, and this is my partner, Castle. We'd like to talk to you about what happened next door as of recently. And then the old lady, I think Mrs. Goodman, in this morning, Oh, I heard a loud noise coming from the next door. I came out to see what all the commotion was about, and saw a man in uh, my Myers' apartment. He was throwing things around and seemed very angry. Did you get a good look at the man's face, and did he seem at all familiar in anything? Castle says, to which she replies, eh, No, I, once I saw it wasn't Samuel, I went back into my apartment and called the police. I figured it may have been that man I saw yesterday. Man from yesterday? She answers, Yesterday I heard some yelling coming from next door. It sounded like Samuel and the gentleman were having a bit of a disagreement so, from, from what I hear. Did you happen to hear anything that they were talking about? To which she replies, No, I'm sorry, dear. I, at this age, I'm lucky I can hear anything at all. Well, Mrs. Goodman, we appreciate your assistance, so that's all for now. After, the, after Mrs. Goodman goes back into her apartment, we are now going to enter Mr. Samuel's apartment. As you can see, there's a lot of nice furniture, and oh, if you see that blue spark over there, that means, um, that means we're, we're close to this, um, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I mean is, if you see the blue sparkle in any of the scenes we happen to go through, that just means that there is a scene or puzzle that needs to be solved. So, from what we have now, we're looking for a wallet, a musical note, an umbrella, a mirror cassette tape, slipper, gold coins, a cheese grater, a brush, handcuffs, a universal remote, and a fork. So, we're just going to keep looking around just to see what we have in store. And we have the hammer. Hmm, I wonder what that hammer can be used for. Oh, 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 and I think, let me see, we have now found the fork. Yes, we confirm it, we have the fork. 
Alright, so let's see. Uh, we're looking around the room to see if we can find anything. So far, so far nothing yet, but uh, this hammer has something to do with it. Important. So, uh, and so does the sponge, but the sponge has nothing to think so. Ah! From the, we just pressed the hit button, and now we have found a wallet. Yes, we have found the wallet and another of suspects. Oh, and when you see these gears and cogs thing over... Sorry about the cutting off, ladies and gentlemen. We are just uh, experiencing some technical difficulties, and uh, we should be back on track within less than no time. All right, all right. So we're just finishing up here with this last of part two. So here we have... The, oops, yep, here we have... Oh, we've just smashed open the piggy bank, so there's a starter for that. And uh, now we're scrolling around to see what else we can find. Uh, let's see. And we've just found the set of handcuffs. Yeah. Handcuffs. So let's see what else we're going to find. Uh, we're just looking around the room to see. Ah, that's interesting. Gamepad that looks like it has a cell phone combination. Some sort of locking pattern. Hmm. I see. I see. I see. Alright, so. Oh, it looks like we're just about out of time for this week. What are, what are we going to find next? And how are we going to find it? Well, then, that is up to you, fine viewers. So, be sure to tune in again next time to make this the most popular video on the internet. So, that's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to tune in next time for an all-new episode of Storming the Castle, coming to you live from YouTube itself. So, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, concerns, or just want to say what up, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Until next time, after a while, crocodiles!